Hello guys, welcome back to Fifi's World where cooking becomes easy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make curry fish. The fish that I'll be using is the yellowfin red snapper. And as you can see, I already washed and cleaned my fish. So I'm just going to go ahead and season it up. I'm using all purpose seasoning and some fish seasoning to season my fish. You can use black pepper and salt or adobo or any fish seasoning of your choice. So what I'm going to do is just to season the fish and allow it to marinate for half an hour. Also ensure that you massage the seasoning in the fish so that the fish will be flavorful throughout. Alright guys, so you need a little bit of oil to saute your vegetable and ensure that the pot is hot before you add your vegetable in. And also make sure that your flame is on low heat. So the vegetable that we'll be using today are onion, thyme, scallion, minced garlic. Also we're going to use some habanero pepper and okra, bell pepper and carrot. As I mentioned earlier about keeping your flame on low heat, ensure that you do so through this process as you don't want your vegetable to burn. All you want to do is to saute them. Now I'm going to go in with some pimento and another word for pimento is allspice. Now I'm going to take this opportunity to add my curry and I normally add my curry once I saute my vegetable. I know a lot of people do the opposite where they burn their curry, the curry first, sorry. And after they burn the curry, they will add their vegetable after. However, this method worked better for me, so I work with this one. And while I'm doing this, my flame is still on low heat because I'm not trying to burn anything. So just go in with the remaining vegetable and saute them as well. Now I'm going to add some all-purpose seasoning to my sauteed vegetable. You can add whatever seasoning that you use to season your fish to the sauce as well. All right, so now what I'm going to do is to add some water to make the sauce. Also, I'm using one cup of hot water so I won't change the cooking temperature. Before I add the fish, I took that opportunity to taste the sauce and ensure that I have enough seasoning or salt in it. Now what I'm going to do is to add my fish. So as we know, fish really don't take a long time to cook. For this fish with the size and everything, it took about 4 minutes to cook on each side. At this point, I still have my flame on low heat. So I'm going to turn up my heat to medium heat and I'm just going to take some of the gravy and coat my fish with it. At this stage, it's obvious that we need some more gravy. So you can go ahead and add extra water because I'll be doing that. And while you're adding extra water, remember to add hot water so you don't change the temperature of your cooking. And also, after you add the extra water in it, it's a high possibility that the flavor will change. So what you want to do is to add a little more of the seasoning or a little salt to enhance the flavor. So what I did next was to close my pot and allow that steam to cook my fish for the very first four minutes. And then after the four minutes was up, I went in and I flipped my fish on the opposite sides and then I allow it to cook for the next four minutes. As you can see, my fish took me roughly eight minutes to cook and your fish probably will be a little bit smaller than mine or perhaps bigger than mine. So you have to control your cooking time and you don't want to overcook the fish because it will become trashy. After you finish flipping your fish, what you want to do is to close back your pot 
and allow the steam to fully cook your fish. Thank you so very much for watching my video to the end. Don't forget to hit the like button so other people can see this video and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so as yet. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!